Sasemi. Sasemi. Ah, Bwana sifiwe. Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. Hap hap Jesus. Hap hap Jesus. Down down Satan. Down down Satan. Are you happy? Yes. Are you happy? Yes. Ah, uh, this is PCEA Kasalani West Parish. And we are very, very happy to see you. By the way, we call you our miss. We call you miss. And now, uh, to Nataka Kuanzia, our surveys, our church school online. And uh, first, I want to thank our parents. When you are prepared, you are prepared. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. By the way, Papa, we are going to be online. We are going to be online. We are going to be online. Wow, that's nice. Now, before we delay, let's pray and then we welcome our teacher. Then we delay. See you. Wakati wa kuomba. Wakati wa kuomba. Tunaeka mikono ibi. Tunaileta mbele. Tunaikuja. Tunaanza kuomba. Our Lord and Father, we are very, very grateful for this day that you've given it to us. Thank you, our maker, because you are of glory. It's not because we are so worthy before thy presence, it's only your favor and love, our God. Thank you, our master, for your protection. Thank you, Jehovah, King of glory, because Jehovah, we know that Jehovah God will stand with us, and Jehovah, King of glory, you will, you will walk with us, my Father. Father, as we start this lesson, my Father, may you be with us. My Father, I silence any other voice because, Father, we want to be with Jehovah. May you, Father, speak to us we are listening. And now, Father, because Jehovah King of Glory, and you know us better, Jehovah King of Glory, we pray that Jehovah King of Glory, because of the, uh, this demonic disease, my Father, Jehovah King of Glory, may you, Jehovah, help us, may you take heal our, our country, may you heal our friends and, uh, and, uh, and the parents, my Father, and, uh, and the entire, entire world. In the name of Jesus Christ. We pray this short trip trusting in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. And now our Father, our Father who works in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on us as we sit in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Ah, ah, kutasimama, tuimbe mbo moja, and then we will come our teacher. Is it? Yes. Let us all stand up. Let us all stand up. Let us all stand up. I'm happy today, so happy. We need a team, I'm happy because we are happy. Nice things are I'm happy, so happy today. And the time to be happy is now. And the praise to be happy is here. And the ways to be happy is to make someone happy and to have a new I'm happy today, so happy in Jesus' name. I'm happy because He has taken away. I'm happy, so happy today. And the time to be happy is now. And the praise to be happy is here. And the ways to be happy is to make someone happy and to have a little heaven that we are. And now I want to welcome our teacher, Teacher Jennifer. Wanga kwa nijua Teacher Jennifer. Wanga kwa nijua Teacher Jennifer. Na Teacher Jennifer, you are welcome. Welcome. Good morning, church. Good morning, church school. Good morning. How are you? Fine. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. It is nice. Once again, we give God all the glory, and uh, we are going to learn about prayer. We are going to learn about what? Prayer. Prayer. Now, before I say anything about prayer, I want you to tell.
tell me what is prayer? Do we all pray? Yes. Do we all pray? Yes. What is prayer? And I have someone telling me what prayer is. Yes, Jeremy? Be louder. Talking to God. Prayer is talking to God. Can we clap for Jeremy? Thank you very much. We have just done a prayer with our teacher, and that prayer is actually in the book of Matthew 9 3, which is the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven. We all know that prayer, isn't it? Can we repeat again? It is in the book of Matthew 9 3. And it is the Lord's Prayer. Let us repeat again and say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, our, our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is done in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. That is the Lord's Prayer. And we thank God because of that Lord's Prayer. Prayer is talking to God. Prayer is talking to God. To God. Now, my first question is, or rather my second question is, when do we pray? <coughs> Jeremy, once again, when do we pray? We pray when we are in trouble. Is it true? Yes. We pray when we are in trouble. When else do we pray? I will help you in this one. We pray even when we are happy. Okay? Yes. We pray even when we are happy because prayer is talking to God. And God loves it <coughs> when we pray and talk to Him. Now, how do we pray? What actions? Do you go to God and you sit on a couch and you lift up your legs and you start praying? Latisha, can you tell me how you pray? Amen. That is a very good answer, Latisha. You kneel down as a sign of humility. Can someone show us how you kneel down? Latisha, please come and show us how you kneel down. Just show us an example of how you kneel down. Can you kneel down? Thank you very much. You kneel down and you put your hands together and you pray to God. That is a sign of humility in the eyes of the Lord. Now, in the Bible, there was a woman. Her name was Sarah. So her name was Hannah. And in the book of First Samuel, chapter 9, verse 10, can we have somebody opening uh, his or her Bible in the book of First Samuel, chapter 9, chapter 9, verse 10? Jeremy, do you have it? Can you read for us verse 9 and 10 only? Loudly, chapter 9. No, it's actually, sorry, chapter 1, verse 9. Do you have it with you? Oh, thank you. Chapter 1, verse 9 and 10. They had finished their meal in the house of the Lord at Silo. Hannah got up. She was deeply distressed and she cried bitterly as she prayed to God. Meanwhile, Eli the priest was sitting in his place by the door. Thank you very much. Here we have uh, Hannah, who used to visit a place of worship in the old days with the husband Elkanah. Hannah was a wife to Elkanah, and there used to be a priest called Eli. And Hannah was married to Elkanah. Elkanah had two wives, 
she had, there was a wife called Emina and there was Hannah. So Emina had many children, but Hannah did not have a child. And this pained Hannah so much that Hannah felt sad and distressed. And so every time they used to visit the temple at a place called Shiloh, Hannah would go there and plead to the Lord. She would cry to the Lord. She would pray to the Lord. She would do what? She would pray to the Lord. And this time, she prayed to God and asked God to remember her and to bless her with a child. And for sure, God in his faithfulness blessed Hannah with a child. What does that mean? That every prayer we pray, it is not in vain. We just don't pray for the sake of prayer. When you go to God in pain and in distress, and in, 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 you know, when you feel defeated, our God is faithful, he's able to hear our prayer, and he's able to answer us. Now, uh, we have uh, a prayer, a word that tells us in the book of Matthew 6.33, that if you seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, the kingdom of God is actually seeking God. So if you seek his kingdom first, if you seek his ways, if you do what is right, then and his righteousness. Righteousness is doing what is right by not sinning and by not doing what is wrong, you become righteous in the eyes of God. Then all these other things will be added unto you. Therefore, we need to know that if we pray to God, he is faithful according to his word, which he has promised in the book of Matthew 6, 33, that seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Now, before we get to the memory verse, I want us to learn on how we can pray to God the easy way on how we can pray to God. There is a way we pray. We just don't go to God as if there is a way we do it. And how we do it, there is a method called acts that we should follow. And through the acts method, it becomes easy for us to learn how to pray. We have our chart here. Now, for us to learn how to pray, we need to know the word acts. Going downwards. A C T S. Can we say acts? Acts. Everybody? Acts. Acts. Very good. Now, in Acts, we start with A. All right? Where we have A, A stands for adoration. Can we say adoration? Adoration. Again? Adoration. Adoration is worship. Adoration is lifting up the Lord. Adoration is telling God that he is good. Is telling God that he is merciful. Do we have any other way you can think of of adoring the Lord? Do we have anyone who can tell us how we adore God? We adore God by singing to the Lord. The way we have just sang here, I am happy. There are other songs of adoring the Lord. Okay? Therefore, adoring the Lord is a sign of worship. Telling God, God, you are good. God, you are wonderful. God, you are merciful, you are the Lord of Lords, because there is no other God. Or do we have any other God? No. We do not have any other God. We only have God, our Father, who is Jehovah. All right? And of course, Jesus Christ, his Son, whom he gave us so that we may be forgiven our sins. We also have C. C stands for confession. Can we say confession? Confession. Thank you very much. Confession is whereby you have done something that is wrong, 
And now, because you want to go before the Lord in prayer, you repent your sins. You ask God to forgive you your sins. Are we together? Yes. Very good. So when you go before the Lord and you ask the Lord to forgive you your sins, God is gracious and merciful to forgive you your sins. And how do you repent? Do you? None of us is righteous. We all sin at some point, isn't it? Yes. yes. Who can give me an example of a sinner? Somebody who has done something that is wrong. You do things right every time? Do you do everything right every time? Sometimes we sin, sometimes we steal our mom's sugar, isn't it? Yes. Because you want to feel the sweetness, isn't it? Yes. That is not right. But when you go before the Lord in prayer, you can now confess your sins and tell God to forgive you. That is called repentance. When you go before the Lord and you confess, that is called repentance, all right? And repentance means you ask God for forgiveness and you do not go back to that sin again. Amen? Amen. Amen. So we continue again. We also have the, uh, sorry for this, or maybe I should hold it. We also have T. T stands for thanksgiving. All right? When you go before the Lord in prayer, you go before him in thanksgiving. You do not go to God every time with your needs or with that confession. But remember God has been good and merciful to us. Isn't it? Yes. Right. Therefore, we go to God in thanksgiving on what? Because he has given us good life. He has given us good health. Isn't it? Yes, and then there is something we call supplication. Supplication is making requests, telling God what we want, okay? Telling God what we want. Maybe you want God to give you wisdom, isn't it? So that you can perform well in school, yeah? You probably sometimes want God to heal you because you are unwell. So that is when you go to God and make requests. Therefore, our mode of prayer should be acts. Whenever we go before the Lord and we worship Him, we, we pray in songs, we, we confess our sins in repentance, and we also go before the Lord in thanksgiving, and we also go before the Lord in supplication, we make our requests. That is how we pray. Our memory verse for today is supposed to be, seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. So I want you to repeat after me. Seek ye first. Seek ye first. The kingdom of God. The kingdom of God. And his righteousness. And his righteousness. And all these things. And all these things. Shall be added unto you. Shall be added unto you. That is our memory verse for today. Now, I want to ask a question. If we are to go before the Lord in prayer. Which method do we use? We start with what? Adoration, which is praises and thanksgiving. Right? We also go to, the next one should be? Confession. Well done, Latisha. We go to God before the Lord in confession. And then we go before the Lord in thanksgiving, we tell God, thank you for what he has done for us. Maybe we can stand up and sing a song of reading our Bible and praying every day. Like we have said, let's stand up all of us. Even at home, if you can be able to stand up, stand up, we sing together. Everybody, read your Bible, pray every day, pray.
even as we finish up, we have learned how to pray. And we have said we use the Acts method of adoration, confession, thanksgiving, and supplication. So from today henceforth, let us learn to go before the Lord in the method of Acts. And you will grow and grow and grow every day. Thank you very much. Now, we are almost finishing our lesson today, and we are going to say a word of prayer so that we can be able to go to the next thing. Let us put our hands together so that we can pray. Let us put our hands together so that we can pray. Let us pray. Father, we come before your presence this morning in thanksgiving and in praise. We thank you for making us to see another day. We thank you for the lesson that we have learned today. We pray that the Spirit of God will intervene and intercede for us so that we may understand your word and so that we may grow in prayer and how to talk to you and to communicate with you. We thank you and we bless you for all the children who are here and even those who are watching at home and we speak the blessings of God upon them. We pray this in Jesus' name, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you very much viewers and the children who have participated in this particular program and even in this learning session. We pray that you shall be able to join us even next Sunday and we will all be able to grow together to the glory and honor of the Lord. Have a blessed week. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. Amen.